I don't know about you, but I remember where I was at when the direction of my life was formed, Michigan International Speedway, on August 23rd, 1974, when I saw Richard Petty's fire red and petty blue Dodge go screaming by. Since then, probably just like you, we've been hooked. From our first media gig, at the tender age of 15 in 1983 with Grand National Scene, to printing our own Supercars Today magazine in the 1990s, hence our name. Nothing against our open wheel friends, but if it has fenders, our nosy nature wants to find out the who, the why, and the how. We don't necessarily interview these people, we have conversations. So please subscribe to our channel and hit that bell to be notified of new content every Tuesday at noon. Thanks for watching, and please like, comment on, and share these videos. Today on the program, Now we'll go to um, uh, the TV show. How did you guys get hooked up with the TV show uh, was, Daytona uh, Beach? Loka had done it. Hmm. I mean, that, that was, you know, and we live closer to Daytona than anybody else, you know. True, true. And and I don't know. I think we carried folk call down that one. <laughs> and, you know, everybody got to drive around the track. And, you know, that, that was morale for the crew because, you know, they got to drive around Daytona. Who gets to drive around Daytona in a race car? Right, right, right. <laughs> From exactly. <Cup> Georgia. <laughs> well, they didn't get to flip the car, but <laughs> which right. wasn't your car. But... That's right. Well, you drove one too, didn't you? Uh, I did. You never thought about pulling one of them backup cars out and starting it for longer? I never no, thought about that. I did not. <laughs> Chicken nuggets. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> C stands for chicken. <laughs> no. no, I had my, I had my little dirt racing business for a little while, but and like I said, that got drifted away. Yeah, when I went in the logging business, you know, just on a small scale, and it was kind of like racing. You know, ever I tried to do the right thing by everybody. And people got to notice it. And the next thing you know, I was seven crews scouted all over South Georgia and <laughs> Alabama, Florida. Pretty soon it takes off and it's like, how did that get there? <laughs> <laughs> well, like I interviewed Mark Thompson a couple years ago and when he had that wreck in Atlanta in 98, uh, you know, he, he said he was, I, I won't get into detail, but he said he was real bad. And he said he realized, you know, I, I this is my living, this is my play, I kind of got to get better and, you know, make a living. Is that is that kind of your thought, too? It's like, eh. Well, that's true, yeah. I, you know, that's kind of like when I was riding that motorcycle, you know, and I had a little, this has been five years ago, I guess, and I had a little scale one day. I said, hmm, I don't believe my ref reflexes are as good as they used to be. I believe I'll park this bike. <laughs> and, you know, when we were racing, what was I, 50 years old, right at it, 49, 48. And you see most folks, other than Richard Petty, re retire before they get that age. Right. Of course, right. Dale Earnhardt did but Right. <clears throat> but you saw about Dale a while ago and Harris and one thing. Look, one time me and Harris looked. I can't remember where we were for sure, but we went to the cup side with some spark plugs in our hand to get somebody to look at them. And we walked by Dale and he said, Harris, I had your car running. <laughs> you so know our name? <laughs> that, that told you that Dale, that was right about the time Dale was starting his own team, see? Yeah. And yeah. that told you he was looking at people. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. So that's what it told me. Yeah. Well, did you guys try to qualify also for a few, what, about two or three cup races? and One. Didn't make it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And that car was a, somewhat of a tank. <laughs> but it had a hell of a motor in it now. And, and it, it would have quite, he missed first round and then second round. He kept saying the car was too tight. And I think we loosened it up too much and he hit that wall. Oh, okay. So it was Atlanta, if I'm not mistaken. That's right. Because right. Racing Reference got you trying twice, unless you withdrew from one or at uh, 98, 99. So I don't Maybe think... we did. 
I think he beat it. Yeah. Because I, I, by then, I wouldn't think you guys were biting off one you and chew. I mean, you guys had already won Atlanta in 97, and you guys were up front all the time. The speedways and then the media tracks, you guys were in the hunt. So I, I wouldn't think, unless the, t I mean, the technology over there on the other side of the fence is, whoo, you know, we're talking, you know, literal, you know, David and Goliath. <laughs> That's right. That's you exactly know. right. <clears throat> well, and, you know, competing with, uh, with the Bowsers, we could probably compete with the Bowsers. Yeah, yeah. But when you came to uh, what was the guy named that owned Frank's car? Oh, uh, uh, Larry Clement. Yeah, Larry yeah. Clement. We couldn't compete with Larry Clement. We couldn't <laughs> compete with Tim Steele. And then when the Cup Boys came to Daytona or Talladega or wherever, we couldn't compete with them. Well, let's go back now. 95, Talladega. <laughs> I, <laughs> does that still leave that that taste in your mouth? Like, oh, we had that was our race. I think about that, and you know when they they would gain him so fast on Bradbury and who was driving the one car? Uh, purpose. Purpose. They were gaining on them so fast that when Harris got there, he dropped out fast. If I'd have just told him, follow him one lap. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's always that <laughs> if right. he'd have followed him one lap. He could, he could have won that race. Because you guys ran out, I believe, turn four, right? That's right. All you needed was another. Finish second. And still finish second. Out of mm -hmm. gas. Then you know mm -hmm. you was close. Well, if I'm not mistaken, Mike said, Wallace said, who won the race. He, he, yeah, he said, guys he, had, he, said he, he couldn't had him pass him. Yeah, he had him covered. You know, I, I mean, you yeah, know. They, life, were, they were drafting so much faster than the field. Well, and Harris is leading, too. Yeah, that's so right. So that didn't help. You know, but like you say, one more lap, but. You know, I mean, uh, I <laughs> he just drafted them one lap, but he couldn't do it when he called me. He had to go. <laughs> right. I can see that. Well, some cars draft better than they run out front, and you know, Harris is, you know, you know, that's that's like we bought the car that uh, that Bill finished second to Spencer in Talladega, okay, yeah, and you know, they them two cars in Daytona. They just ran away, and then it came to Talladega and done the same thing. It just, just the driver changed. That was, that was a that was a nice car. That's the car we were running Talladega and Daytona with. Daryl Walter was on uh, another show, and uh, you know Jimmy won Daytona in the McDonald's car, and then he won Talladega, like you say, in the McDonald's car. And Daryl said he asked Junior, "What are you guys doing?" And he said Junior told him. We'll win every dang race until they catch us. <laughs> did you did you know what they were doing at the time? I mean, did you, or he, he didn't, or whatever you bought, they pulled off before you bought it, or? Well, we bought the, that car we bought without an engine. We put an alien engine in it. The first car we bought was one that <coughs> Bill finished, won the race in Atlanta when Kawiki won the championship. It came complete. And, of course, Harris wrecked it. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> but it was um that was a that was a nice car. Both of them were nice cars. Beautiful cars, yeah. That 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 red and that white. And you guys left it those colors too. Did you do and, that? And you know, Beam and all all of them, Junior and all of them gave us all the support they could. They flew down to Atlanta one time for the test. Oh wow, okay. Yeah, he sent Beam, the pilot, and oh what was it? What was his darn engine man's name? Uh, Reigns, J.B. Reigns. Trying to think of his engine guy. I can't remember. I can see his face, but I can't remember his name. But yeah, he did. He sent he sent them down there to help us, and yeah, they were they were good. So, do you keep track of racing now? On TV. So you you're familiar with who won Daytona? I mean, I, you probably don't know him, but Greg Van Alst. You, you know, you saw that race. Yeah. You kind of, the only thing I can compare his win with, because, I mean, I just enter, I'm in the middle of running that series now, and you go to his place, it's basically the same. The house is here, the shop is here, and it's not like the garage mahal like you got with Earnhardt, it's just his pole barn. And and I, I guess I think back to, uh, you know, who I could compare it with, and it's you guys. You know, it's like, wow, you know, who, wait, Harris won? I mean, and not to take anything away from it, it's Atlanta, it's not Daytona, but still a huge race. 
And it's like, wow, Harris won. <laughs> you know, Tim Steele didn't win. Frank did. Well, Tim Steele had knocked himself silly a couple weeks before that, so he won in the race. Uh, Frank didn't win. The Cup guys didn't win. You guys won. That's right. So do you, is it kind of neat to see that kind of – because I said that with Greg Van Alst winning, that's what ARCA should be is the Cup training ground. You, know, you run ARCA, run up front or win, and then you move on. And I, I'm sure you guys are looking at it the same way, but – do you think maybe Arca got away from that a little bit? I mean, I mean, you can't really not keep the cup teams from coming in. Well, you know, they're going to Phoenix and all that. Could we afford to go to Phoenix? Probably not. I can't believe you are going to Nebraska. <laughs> That's, That's true. A you thousand know, we, miles we, away to run we that dirt track. to, uh, what was that? So uh, I-80. I-70. Yeah. I-80. On Link, in Lincoln, Nebraska. Yeah. One time, yeah. That was, you guys yeah. ran well there, too, if I'm not mistaken. Did we you? did. Yeah. And we, uh. We drove all day and all night to get there and then turn around just as soon as it was over and turn around and drove back on. What, about 15 hours? Probably. But but here you got, and, and I'm not, I mean, I understand you got rich kids, but it takes money to do it. But you still have these cup guys coming in, the cup teams coming in, and, and okay, you got this kid who's never run Daytona, but... It's got to be frustrating to go, man, we lost another one. I mean, no offense to Kenny Irwin. You know, he won that race uh, in that the, the Ray Bestis car. Um, you know, guys like that. Um, hey, I remember that real well. We were, when Kenny won that race, we were racing. And then he had gone over there with Robert Gates walking around there with him. <laughs> right. Right. This is a sad show. <laughs> we might be running at least second or third. <laughs> but Michael Schichetti was uh, on his bumper most of the race. Uh, uh, you know, he, he wasn't a full-time guy, but he was an ARCA guy, I guess mm -hmm. you could say. Uh, you know, had a shot at it. Right. Uh, but uh, um, but the cup guys didn't chase you guys away, did they? Or, I mean, it didn't help. No, no. It, it was just a, just a time that in our lives, Harris was worried about the farm and the kids are getting older and I was semi-retired we had to have some finance and some time you know to do it well do you ever look back and regret it and go you know man I wish they were still racing yeah, yeah. I kind of do you know and Jennifer says a lot of times you know that she told Harris you know that said we'll move the shop but that goes back to the farm see Harris is dead one of the biggest farmers around. Yeah, yeah. And he was looking looking at that and they were they were looking at him and his daddy was probably giving him a hard time about not being there at times. Well why dad you're not spending the money? <laughs> My other dad is. <laughs> yeah, but he was missing the money. Right, miss, right missing right, missing the money, right, right. It. it might have made him have to work a little too hard. <laughs> right. Well, you know, sadly we lost Harris. Uh, you know, and, yes, uh, that is true. You know, too young to go. Uh, but uh, uh, and Jennifer, she's working what an hour away. She said, "Man, that's 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 wild." She's she's working so far away, and uh, you know, sounds like she's doing good. My wife's a physical therapist, and so is you know Jennifer, and uh, your lovely wife Brenda just walked in. <laughs> so good to see you. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Come on, get in here. <laughs> we on uh, national we're, TV. We're well, yeah. <laughs> She ain't getting on. <laughs> I was going to say, I didn't think she would. <laughs> what she get on that? Yeah. Well, the uh, Supercars Today uh, TV show, the one that I did the uh, the Daytona show for. Oh, okay. So we got, Brenda, we, got, we got Brenda. She's off camera again. She don't want to be on camera. Okay. <laughs> no, I don't be okay. But where these guys, where one was, the other was. And so it's fitting that we end the show with Brenda now here and uh, wrapping it up with CL. And, um, and we were talking about yeah, you come into races anymore. And I, you know, it's, I think it was 25. I wasn't at the 97 Atlanta. I still kick myself for that. Wish I was there. So the last time I'd seen you was 96, but I thought that I'd seen you guys or you or, or I thought I'd seen somebody a race here or there. And so you don't go much anymore though, do you? No, well, no. Is there a reason for that? Or just, you don't want to get that well, itch again? We got <laughs> You know, we always had the motorhome, and we went around in it, and we got out of the motorhome business, and I guess you call me and Brenda homies now. We, <laughs> we talk about going somewhere more than we go. But Atlanta's in town as well? Yeah. We, we, <laughs> built a, we built a cabin out on the farm, and 
we'll go out there and stay a week sometimes, but heck, we right back here for lunch or whatever every day. <laughs> so we're not that you might as well just stay here, right? <laughs> but you was talking about a quiet place a while ago. Now that's a quiet place. You hear pine the cone fall out there. On it's the quieter than here. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Think, boy, the rapture happened. Oh, yeah, <laughs> they all gone. Out <laughs> so you were telling me about um, the Atlanta and the Georgia Peanuts people. Last last spring, you know, they sponsored uh, the car for. It was an Xfinity car, I think, wasn't it? No, it was. It was for. Was it a cup car? Okay. For the, uh, Dave Gilliland's boy. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, Todd Gilliland. Yeah. That's right. They sponsored Todd. And uh, they called me and asked me, you know, they were going to have a little promotion with that trailer up there and all, and asked me if me and Jennifer would come. And uh, of course, we agreed to come, and, why, and uh, I told Mr. Don Cola, I said, I'll bring the car back. He said, you still got that car? I said, yeah, I'll bring <laughs> that exact car back. And it did, it, it, it drew a lot of, lot of people. And you would have been surprised at the people that could walk by there and said, I was at that race. I was at that race. I was at that race. Just one after the no. But did it make you feel good that, that, you know, 20, 25 years later, this big company still remembering you guys? That's right. With Harris gone and everything, you know, and it just, it did. It really, it, it just fascinated you to, to the fact that people would, uh, Walk up there and say, "How was that that race? I don't remember that race." <laughs> I mean, were they calling you CL or Mr. Jones or CJ? <laughs> At least they got your phone number, I right? Think, I don't think that. I don't think they uh, <laughs> recognized me as much as they did the car. You yeah. know, and they were, they knew the name. They, they knew the name Harry Devane more than they did. So. To wrap things up, um, you guys weren't in ARCA long, but you made one heck of an impact. Um, and I always ask people when I get the chance, uh, how do you want to be, I mean, you're not, you guys ain't dying, but <laughs> uh, how do you want to be remembered? Do you want to be remembered for your racing exploits? Do you want to be remembered for the timber, for both? What 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 do you want people I to remember? I think we'd like guys? to be remembered as being courteous. Check. Fun going. <laughs> Check. <laughs> Just generous, enjoying life, meeting people. Still got, I still talk to a lot of people I met back in that day. And we were talking about Harris winning the race and, you know, coming in and he running seventh and caution came out. And two leaders stayed out and the whole field behind him, which was very few cars on lead lap, came in. But the pit crew put him out first. And, you know, that's, that's, had a lot to do with winning the race. In fact, it might have been the key to winning the race other than Harris. And, you know, he he really appreciated that and one we all but uh that's it's a, it was it was fun. And like you said, the money I don't know I don't tell nobody I don't, I don't know how much money we spent because <laughs> I wouldn't let my sister and Brenda and them tell me. <laughs> but we enjoyed it. And that, you know, and you can't take it away from us. <laughs> you sure can. You get The memories are there. The, 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 the times are there. The friends are there. You know, you still let me in your home 25 years later. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm still sitting here like, like I was before, you know, and, uh, I can't tell you how much I appreciate you letting me come on in, and uh, it was good talking to you guys. Let's talk about finishing second at Dallas a second. We wasn't we wasn't on the oh, air a while ago. Uh, yeah, we were. Yeah, well, yeah, we we covered it. But you can tell more if you want. No, I just think about <laughs> you know I say he wasn't that. fuming. The smoke wasn't coming out of his ears. Very close. <laughs> Twenty six or seven years ago, however long it's been, I still think about it. He just followed that call. Bradbury and Purvis. One, Purvis, one lap. <laughs> and I had told him, he said it. <laughs> I had told him, about it. <laughs> I had told him, I said, you got to stay low coming off the of four. Don't, Mike's going to pass you. He come around four and he was a little high. I said, I told you to stay low. He's going to pass you. He said, I'm out of gas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> well, we didn't cover 96 because if I'm not mistaken, 96 where you guys were at, 
Harris is told you can't speed from where we're pitting out. Right. Oops. Oh, we Mike. Spit. What was Mike's name? I. You know I'm talking about? Yes, I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, he was a nice guy. <clears throat> yep. Yeah. Yeah, we, but... we were selecting <laughs> pits, and he told us, he said, I said, we need one with an opening. He said, take this pit, and you won't, you can't speed off pit road. And the first thing he did was speed first off pit thing, road. First thing, yeah, first pit stop. <laughs> <laughs> and you got the, went the rest of the race trying to catch back up. Never, never right. Never was able. Now you guys got the, whatever they call it, free pass, lucky dog, whatever. <laughs> and uh, might have had it, but, you know, yeah. Uh, I mean, everybody thought you guys were the favorite that day, too. And uh, there's another one got away, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, sure did. Hope we just talked about what you guys want to be remembered for. Hopefully, it's the ones that got away. I don't think that that Atlanta one was really. We ran really, we, we, that first yeah. year. We ran. I guess it was the first year we ran Daytona, and then went Pensacola. Yes. And Harris was spin out ten times practice. <laughs> and Logo looked at me. He said, "Where did that boy learn how to drive?" <laughs> <laughs> Where did you learn how to officiate? <laughs> yeah, we, we won't say that to Bob Logan. <laughs> well, any any part, any last thoughts that uh, we didn't cover? No, just everything's been good. Well, you guys look, I mean, you both look the same to me. I, I told when I got out of the car and see all of a sudden walking up, I said, no, it ain't two of me. I just got too fat. So, <laughs> so have we. We no, don't look the same, but we dig up one of them pictures back there. We don't look the same, though. To me, you do. Uh -uh. But, well, but then again, I said start wearing the cheaters. But, <laughs> but, but again, guys, thanks for having me in, in your home. I appreciate it. Uh, I, I wanted to get down here and do this. And I, I'm, a, I'm a guy that like to do the Zoom nonsense, you know. I like to, you know, the... Like facing people, oh, yeah. I was just telling CL. I just uh, was up at Greg Van Alst's place. I would compare that win. Uh, you know, I'm talking about just one day Tona, right? Uh -huh. I, I compare what you guys did at Atlanta to what he did, as in like a smaller, kind of like um, like a family type of team. Because Greg's place is basically like your guys' place. You know, he's not cup affiliated. Mm -hmm. He's got Jim Long as a crew chief, but Jim, Jim just comes for the weekends. You know, or for the race. You know, he's not there 24 seven in Indiana. But, you know, I thought it was the same kind of feel, you know, now that I look back. I couldn't think of who, I look back, I thought, who in the world could I compare that to? It's you guys. You know, that, that family, you know. Well, that's kind of like the Bowsers, the deal. You mentioned the uh, deal with them a while ago. And Blaze and them, you know, of course. But they, they all had full-time jobs. And they had a lot and, more and, money involved and, and, out of money. that family than I was, but. Because Jack was full time in the shop, Bobby was full time in the shop, uh, and uh, 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 Gary was not full time, but he, you know, he come in at night, you know, and, and things like that. Whereas, like you guys, you know, nine to five or whatever, you go do the other job, come in at night in the shop and work. Greg has his fence business; he comes in at night and works and whatever. Uh, and so, something like that, where you're doing a nine to five and then you work on the car, you know, that, to me, that's the, the throwback to what you know. I always thought Arca should be training ground, then move on. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, I hate the Harrison. Did I, did I tell you about the time that, uh, Mr. Jack came into his shop? No, no. Big place, isn't it? And he built that himself. I know. But, <laughs> you know, <laughs> we, we, when, uh, one time, I think it was Shady Bowl, we had a little misunderstanding. Uh oh. <laughs> and then the next year, which would have been 96, we was, I don't know which one track we were at somewhere close to his job and he told me he come over and told me he said come on ride with me I said, where we going and he said i'm gay old to my job and he showed me that his 427 hemi and he also had some of those I mean the windsors or whatever the clevelands or whatever yeah <laughs> and he, he had, had a hemi a <laughs> ford guy uh, <laughs> i know what you meant <laughs> no it was it was a ford 427 yeah. hemi Really? I didn't know Fords did that. Yeah, the Fords did with him. Show so much I know. And, I mean, he, he had one, he had one huh? sitting right there on the floor, and he was wow. proud of it. Yeah, yeah. But he also had an engine, might have been more than one, that June Johnson built when they changed over the Ford and put Chevy heads on it. <laughs> I heard about that. <laughs> he had one of those sitting there. Mm -hmm. He had to show it to me. 
Mm -hmm. But yeah, you know, after that first year, then, you know, we'd turn into a lot better friends than we were the first round. Well, Jack was kind of like Logie. You had to kind of prove yourself, and then once they realized they could trust you, then, you know, then everything was good. That's right. You know, if, if, as long as he knew you were, you know, who you, you say you are. Because <laughs> uh, Bobby would tell me about all the, the, the big block Fords they sold. Because uh, when Ford got out in 70, all the Ford people had to give their stuff back except Jack. Jack was allowed to keep his stuff. Well, and, that's uh, where that ended the game, bro. Yeah, that, yeah. That I would have loved to have seen that. <laughs> it's probably still in that probably family, I would think. All the trophies and everything, that shop is still there. But they didn't do nothing out of it. Uh, Julie can't, you know, no money. Same same thing. No money to run it. So, that's right. You know. But uh, again, guys, uh, thanks so much for having me. You're welcome. Here in your home. I think Chuck Bacon's going to we'll share with you what we have if you would like some of it. Well, I appreciate it. <laughs> but <laughs> but uh, we're going to sign off and uh, we'll let you guys know when you'll be on the air. Well, Brenda won't be on. I there. won't be, no. She'll, you'll hear in the background. <laughs> <You're right. laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs>